Hi, everybody. Uh, this is a quick breakdown of a simple fusion automobile model. Um, it was just one of my fusion debugging models, and it's uh, more like a car caricature than a serious car model. It's composed of a few blobby meshes uh, that become pretty interesting when intersected. The schematic is not complex, but it has a couple of things worth looking at. So let's deconstruct the model from its completed state. Uh, the Boolean rig is pretty standard with a couple of typical fusion branches. The interesting bit is the wheel well cutouts. They need to cut into geometry from the two main branches, the one branch that forms the fenders and the other one that forms the body. To do that, they need to be the last thing fed into the Boolean stream. And here are those cutouts at the bottom of the schematic. And again, you can see that they cut into all other meshes in the model. The rest of the model culminates here at this union node. Everything from those two main branches feed into that node. So here I'm selecting uh, everything else, everything except the wheel cutters, and you can see that it all, again, culminates in that one union node. The well cutters, on the other hand, feed into this intersection node. So let's take those well cutters out of the equation and see what we've got. This ability to uh, break down your model into uh, subcomponents is uh, certainly one of the most powerful things about the fusion schematic. Uh, by the way, I should have hidden these glass items. They're actually in separate fusion items and uh, are not part of the schematic. So here we have the uh, product of those two main uh, branches. And let's take a uh, closer look at the body branch. It's really very simple with uh, two intersecting blobs forming the body and a couple of uh, subtractive boxish sort of meshes that uh, cut out the windows. Um, all of those meshes feed into a standard set of branch uh, operator nodes and uh, those in turn feed into that fusion union that we looked at before. If we uh, disconnect that body branch, we are left with just the fenders. Uh, and there's this cylindrical uh, mesh which makes up the trunk of this uh, little car. Um, it's in this branch because we didn't want it trimmed by the body's intersection mesh. Uh, but the main thing here is this single intersection mesh that trims all of the fender meshes. Big trim meshes like this provide a natural flow and continuity to the overall model. And as you can see, uh, without that trim, the fenders are just uh, kind of boring, primitive shapes. So that's about it. Um, I'll probably continue to work this model as, as we move forward, and uh, especially as uh, new functionality comes online. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks.